New England Research has developed an impulse hammer probe for the autoscan system. This probe is capable of quantitatively measuring the elastic stiffness and other properties related to strength using a non-destructive method. The impulse hammer consists of a sensor which measures the force time function of the impact between the sensor and the sample. Knowing the mechanical and geometric properties of the sensor and the velocity of the impact, the force time function can be used to measure the elastic stiffness of the material. In the simplest case, the elastic stiffness is very close to the Young's modulus. Thus, the impulse hammer can be used to rapidly quantify variations in Young's modulus as a function of depth and or on a large number of core plugs. To make an individual measurement, the autoscan moves the probe into position over the sample, lowers the supporting frame to hold the sample in place, and drops the sensor onto the sample. The force time function of the impact is recorded via an oscilloscope and processed in real time to determine the elastic stiffness of the material. In addition to elastic stiffness, the system can be configured to perform point measurements that are sensitive to variations in inelastic properties, which can be used to produce a strength index. This is essentially an advanced rebound hardness measurement. Measurements can be made on sample plugs or on slab core. Many plugs can be placed on the autoscan at one time, providing a platform for rapid, non-destructive characterization of plugs. Shown here are the output force curves of four measurements made on a single plug. Each measurement is made at a new location 2 mm from the previous measurement. When profiling slabbed core, it is common that the core contain fractures, fugs, and other flaws that need to be avoided in the measurement process. Prior to running the impulse hammer on the slab core, laser scanning can be employed to locate these features. Measurements at these locations will be skipped. In this example, measurements are being made at 5 mm intervals to produce a detailed profile of elastic stiffness as a function of depth. Autoscan automatically keeps track of the sample depth of each measurement point along the core. During the measurement process, the results can be graphed as shown. A black and white representation of the elastic hardness of the slab is shown on the left side. Black represents the compliant layers, while white represents stiff layers. Thus, during the measurement, the operator has access to a real-time visual hardness profile of the sample. Note that the measurements are fully automatic and can be made unattended once the measurement sequence is started. The autoscan can accommodate up to 12 feet of 4-inch diameter core at one time. An optional camera attachment can photograph the core prior to each scan, providing detailed core photographs that are automatically depth registered to the measured data. At the conclusion of the test, the data can be loaded into DataMiner, a software platform for visualization and manipulation of autoscan data. Here we load the impulse hammer data from the slab core and interactively view it alongside the core photography taken with the autoscan system. This allows the user to rapidly associate the mechanical properties, as determined using the impulse hammer, with the geologic rock types in the core. In addition to the impulse hammer, Autoscan allows for the integration of multiple measurement types including core photography, permeability, velocities, resistivity, and FTIR.